Hello YouTube, welcome back to my Dungeons of Dreadmore Let's Play. This is Loquid. This is episode 4, I believe. When we left off, I found this fountain. We had just picked up our better than cracked glimmering orb. This one's called a glimmering waffle. Doesn't really look like a waffle to me. Anyway, semantics. But we're going to click on this fountain. Fountains are completely random item. You have no idea. The, fo the uh, pop-up image here doesn't give you any clue of what it is. You can drink it or not drink it. Your mind overflows with dark thoughts. Okay. And then it gives you a little pop-up here. Sometimes they may heal you, they may kill you, they may take mana, give mana. Um, and I've got this little animation over me. Let's find out what it is. Dire empowerment. You are infused with the powers of dark magic to grant unnatural strength and necromantic energies. Okay, and that has given me necromantic damage. So that's a bonus damage. And then I have it in my resistances, so I am even resistant to it. And if I had a crossbow, it would do it there as well. Let's cast this. And this. Now look at our damage here. We've got plus four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Just off of two buffs and a drink of water. Now granted, these two last until they're used up. This one only has 45 turns on it. So let's go find some monsters. Oh! We've got another shop here. There's a trap, a ring. A robe, another wand, wand of bling, that's funny. The power of bling is not a power to be taken lightly. Well, that entropy 6, burn rate 9, which means that would burn out literally in your first try no matter what. Uh, and then we have another ring and a wooden crossbow. Let's take this. I'm not an archer, but you do not get a penalty for equipping a crossbow, as you can see here. No matter what class you are, no matter how many dots in it boosts that I've seen. Now let's see. Okay, now our ranged attack is showing at three piercing. So if we were to attack, we'd do three, four, five, six, seven damage, plus whatever the arrow is. So this is a two slash flashing damage. So it would give us three, six, seven, Eight, nine total damage, almost as much as our melee attack. So it might actually be worth going out and about and killing people with our with our bolt. Let's sell some of this stuff here, shall we? Because we don't want to carry this stuff with me. Oh, that's the second one I picked up. Now, when you sell, he tells you what he'll give you for it, and you say, "Don't sell or sell." And this can come in to uh, play a little bit later on in the game with one of the skills that I picked that I forgot to talk about um, in my first episode. Cheerful pinkness, really. I know a couple of uh, Minecraft players that would just be interested about that. Potion of Dire Empowerment is Potion dark turns necromantic bubbles. I'm guessing it's this right here. But we don't need that. Hyperborean potion. I'm guessing that has something to do with water and buffing. Bill of vitriol. Foul and largely unappealing. I don't want something unappealing. Now I don't know what most of these are used for. So I'm just selling them because later on, some of the items that will help you out are incredibly expensive. There are crossbow bolts that go for 28,000 coins for one bolt. Now these are incredibly powerful, and you would only want to use them in a monster zoo. Okay, so I'm keeping another potion. A Chevere Log Cheese and a Danish. Okay, let's take our Loot Fisk, which you don't want to use because, well, it's a one. 
um, but you can you can put them in loot fist altars around the game and eventually get special items I guess. I have not had that happen to me yet. I've just been told. Three. We don't want that. Okay. We don't want that on our hot bar. But let's keep exploring. I burned a couple of minutes there. Okay, here we've got a dispenser of drinks. Now, these dispensers all throughout the game. They sell weapons, armor, drinks, food, bolts. Um, I'm not so much sure about the weapons and armor, but I know for a fact they sell food, drinks, and bolts throughout the game. As well as throwing items like baseballs um, and whatnot. The grill is empty. got a patch of dirt. I've seen in some of the playing of the preview videos that uh, somebody released, I think it was gas lamps themselves, um, that you can patch this. I don't know what that's for, but they're there. Okay, here we go. Here's another dispenser. Throwing items. Oh, now, see there? That was very nice. This kicked in and killed them both. Out of luck picks. So oh, I had to kick the door open. I've been down here before. This is where that one pad from all the way up here in this corner here took us down into this room. So we've already been here. So let's go back up and go to this one. Nothing. Go back up again. We're gonna go this way. Ooh, sewer brew. Okay, here's the chest. See, I'm pressing left. Now I'm pressing down. I can't walk through this chest. And the moment I pick it up, I can go through it all day long. And again, I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but. Sandwich. Um, ingot. Aluminium ingot. Trap. The Statue of Dreadmoor. Another 50. Heroic vandalism. I never knew vandalism could be heroic. Okay, so yeah, well, our character's getting a little beat up again. Eat food to regain health. Eat food to regain health. Okay, here we have a dwarf disposable ingot press. I don't know why it's disposable, maybe it wears out over time. Who knows? Let's open that. Let's see. And then let's bring it up here. And let's look at the recipes. Now see the check marks. Yes. The X's mean I cannot create it because I do not have crafting skills sufficient. The green check marks mean if I have the items in my inventory, I can create it. Now let's see. So here's an example. If I had some zinc, I could mix it with this copper and make brass. Or I could mix the iron ingot with the bitmus coal that I just picked up with some chalk and come up with steel. Now those items would come in handy for this. These kind of things. Like the winged aluminum bolts. Boots. Now granted I've only got one aluminum ingot, but it's telling me that I have that item in my inventory. It's not telling me I have three in my inventory, just that I have at least one of said item in my inventory. And as you can see, you can craft items like the rough helm here. Um, and then once you have that helm, if you have another iron ingot, you can upgrade it. Aluminum helmet, you can craft weapons of all kinds. And this is one of the things that I love. I think this is so hilarious and so neat. Plastic armor. You know, I mean, is that a, a, a silent shout out to uh, George Lucas or something? I don't know. Um, but pleather armor, plastic shoes, plastic ring. Now, one thing I don't like about this interface is it doesn't tell you what these items do. I hover over them here, it tells me their attack and so forth and so on. But it's here in my recipes. It doesn't tell me anything, it just tells me what the item is. 
Let's see. It'd be fun later on to create a character that had no skills except attack and try and get these six items when you start the game. It's going to be way hard, but also rewarding because you can get the best gear and the best items just by creating them. Okay. I don't want to fight these diggles. Cast the fireball on them. Nope, killed that one. Okay, nope, it didn't kill him, it just hurt him. As you saw, the, the flames dissipated. Oh wait, what am I doing? I need to regain some health here. There we go, that's good. 20 Hmm. I'm gonna let him step on that. There we go. Take some damage to go. Makes it easy on me. I want big damage. An Uber chest. Oh, and this one's open. Now see how it says open there. Um a lot of them will say locked, and unless you have a high enough lock or lock picking skill, which I don't even have lock picks right now, um, you can't open them. Oh, it just says the Uber chest is locked. These carry some good items in there. More cheese. More cheese. A mace. More cheese. More cheese. What is this? Loot disc cube. I have not encountered one of these yet. Oh, interesting. I'm going to have to look into this. Okay. You have to give me a second here, my headset just beeped at me. I need to make sure the battery's not dead. Well, I don't know if it's dead or not, but the light's not flashing. I've only got two and a half minutes, three minutes left in my time. So. I'll keep talking, and if I don't have audio at that point, I'll just make a note apologizing. Okay, so let's cast these Oh, that one paid off. See what I mean about these diggle eggs being everywhere? We've got a nice little secret passageway going on. Plastic ore. Too cool. Let's do this plastic ore. Do we even know? Yes, we know plastic ore recipe. Now, example for crafting. You just drop the plastic ore in there. I didn't know plastic was ore. Smelt it, and you have a plastic ingot. Just like that. And you can stack the items in here. Four, five, six, seven pieces of plastic ore. Chromatite, actually chromatite doesn't make anything. Bitmus coal, whatever. So if I had chalk, I would put the bitmus coal, the iron ingot, you see I can put two in there, and then I would also put the uh, chalk in here. Oh, that's interesting. Nice little uh, workaround for extra inventory space. As you see, I close this, and that's still in there. I don't know if that's a glitch, or if that was intentional. So I can put boots in there, I can put a gem in there, so yeah, if I had all of these items, I could expand my inventory. Very nice. Okay, where are we at? Okay, right here. Let's go through this door. Diggle diggle. Okay, well folks, my time's up. I will see you in the next episode.
I will not record anything else until I charge my headsets up. Thank you for watching YouTube.